Hello, welcome to the European Open Briefing for Friday, January the 13th. I'm Rafi Parajan, currency analyst at XM.com, and we're going to be looking at the latest developments in the currency markets today. So we're seeing a bit of a rebound in the dollar this morning. Uh, this comes after the dollar fell to five-week lows yesterday, uh, following uh, that press conference by President-elect Donald Trump, where he didn't really mention much on economic policies, which disappointed markets, and we had that uh, big slide in the dollar yesterday. Uh, the dollar is currently trading around 114 yen. Uh, we had some comments by Fed Chair Janet Yellen yesterday, although we didn't see too much of a reaction in the markets. Uh, and she only made very brief comments on the economy. Uh, she said the US is doing uh, quite well. Uh, in terms of data, the big news this morning is uh, export figures out of China. Um, and we also had um, some fluctuation in the pound yesterday uh, after Dowding Street said that British Prime Minister Theresa May uh, will give a speech next Tuesday on uh, the government strategy on Brexit. So that had uh, quite an impact on the pound. So let's start with the dollar yen pair. We can see that uh, there's been a bit of a rebound in the yen. Uh, and of course, this comes after Donald Trump said that, uh, well, or rather what Donald Trump didn't say, uh, markets were expecting to hear more details on Trump's uh, economic policies, particularly on uh, on tax cuts, uh, spending uh, increases, on particularly on infrastructure, and also uh, on more on trade policy. Uh, but but uh, the lack of detail um, had a negative impact on the dollar, uh, as the dollar rally already had started to appear to be uh, to be fading out. Um, we had the Fed Chair Janet, Janet Yellen comments did add some support to the dollar. Uh, we, did, we saw the dollar yen rise above 115 briefly, so it slid back a little bit currently to around 114.65. Uh, and Yellen said very little on the economy. She only mentioned that in the short term, uh, the prospects for the U U US economy are, are rather positive. Uh, we had export numbers out of China this morning. Uh, exports rose, well, actually they fell by 6.1% year on year in December. Uh, market estimates were for a figure of minus 3.5%, so it was worse than expected. Uh, and it follows a positive uh, figure of 0.1% in November. Uh, imports, uh, they are on the up, however, they rose by 3.1% in December um, f and slightly better than forecasts of 2.7%. Uh, and we also had figures out for the full year 2016. Uh, we showed uh, China had a second consecutive year of a drop in exports. They were down 7.7% uh, for the full year in 2016. Uh, and that basically still shows that China is uh, struggling to, uh, to see a significant rebound in its exports performance, even though the yuan uh, has been depreciating against the US dollar. Uh, the yuan has swum a, li a little bit since the dollar has um, pulled back a little bit. Uh, it's currently at around 6.89 to the dollar. Uh, although we could see further pressures for the yuan in the coming year, uh, especially if uh, President-elect Donald Trump um, takes uh, measures to um, restrict trade between the two countries. As we know, uh, Donald Trump uh, has been uh, very vocal against uh, China's trade practices, where he sees that Chinese uh, manufacturers have um, a better advantage over U.S. manufacturers. So, uh, so that could hurt the yuan over the, the coming uh, of the coming months. If we move on to the pound now, we can see the the pound fell yesterday. It, did, it was doing rather well initially. It rose about $1.23. Uh, in since fallen back below $1.22. Uh, we had an announcement by Downing Street yesterday where uh, UK Prime Minister Theresa May will uh, finally make uh, her long-awaited speech on outlining the Brexit details uh, next Tuesday. Uh, this worried investors though, as most analysts are now expecting a hard Brexit where the UK will likely have to leave the EU single market. Uh, so we're seeing uh, investor nerves pretty much uh, dragging the pound 
lower. Uh, we had a, f a fairly recent run of positive data out of the UK, though this isn't having much impact on the pound. We, we're also going to get the Supreme Court uh, and, uh, um, results of the uh, appeal, whether or not uh, UK Parliament will need to be uh, consulted on uh, Article 50, so that's due also later in the months, and that's likely to keep pressure on the pound. Let's move on to uh, commodities and commodity currencies. Uh, oil is doing uh, relatively better in the past couple, couple of days. There were reports yesterday that Saudi Arabia announced uh, that it has reduced its production by 10 million to below 10 million barrels per day in January, uh, and that's been seen as a sign that uh, OPEC and non-OPEC countries are for the time being abiding uh, with the terms of the production cuts. Uh, US crude oil is currently trading uh, just below $53 a barrel. Uh, that's had a positive impact on the Canadian dollar. The Canadian dollar uh, hit a near three months high, 1.3029 uh, to the dollar yesterday. Uh, the Aussie and the Kiwi are also doing better. The Aussie if it has been boosted by uh, higher iron ore prices. And of course, um, uh, even though uh, the Aussie is seen as a liquid proxy for the uh, China, China's economy, it actually saw uh, a rather muted response to those Chinese negative Chinese trade figures uh, this morning. The Aussie is holding around the 0 0.75 level, uh, and the Kiwi is also near one month's highs. It's currently trading around uh, just about 0 0.71. If you have a look at today's calendar before we go, we can see we have uh, producer prices out of the US and retail sales. So the retail sales, are of course, uh, closely watched because, of course, the US economy is um, very much dependent on consumer spending. Uh, we can see there we had the Chinese numbers out this morning, and we're also going to have the University of Michigan uh, preliminary preliminary consumer confidence index uh, as well later in the day. Uh, apart from that, it is looking like a relatively quiet day today. Uh, and we might also see some reaction to uh, Fed, Philadelphia Fed President Patrick Harker, who's due to speak later in the day. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.